was nice. Uh, can't wait to hear more of that throughout the night as we are going to be on board Creature uh, to start things off. And this first point here is going to get Mixie and Mixie fast indeed as both teams look to try and gain some control here on P1 as Hellstorm is going to be on this God Heady as Jacob going to pick up a huge one. Big C going to get involved early. And that's going to be two down for the side of Minitoba. They got clearance on the hill and have full control. Now we got to see players trying to push up and get extension, but this hit's really going to be coming from mid and then from this top fountain side here for the side of Manitoba to respond and get a break. Of course, as we all know, P1s tend to be pretty hotly contested, but it's going to be Denver that gets a clean 17 seconds off the rip, and it's going to be the Mallards quickly responding at that. They hold on to spawns, which is also a good thing, and now we see them starting to get that spread across the map. Starting to try to hold these players off and see where the next hit's coming from. But as players fall mid and topside map, it's going to be Denver getting the rest of the scrap time. And now they have clearance through Catwalk and through Church to try to make a play. Yeah, and the move for P2 is going and it's going fast as Hellstorm going to try to get into this P2. Get some action going. Going to get taken out and a team kill is going to come through there. As Jacob going to pick up a one onto his own teammate. And that's going to be three down for the side of Denver Surrender. Limits now on the point, gaining some of this time for his teammates here. As now Big C and company look to try and push out this top box in the area gonna get Sigburn there limits all alone on the point but he's gonna find some help from his teammates as Hassi and creature gonna put three down for the side of denver surrender and now just 27 seconds remaining here on the p2 you have to start to look for a player to start rotating and it's gonna be that player in number seven in creature we'll see how this pays off for denver obviously no one for manitoba going to give this a last crack so when these last 10 seconds are taken up it's going to be a tied game going over to p3 but even though manitoba they chalk the rest of the time and it's going to be really important if they can hold off this first wave from the denver side because you give up 20 seconds of hill time now to go into a tied game and if they break you early uh, you could have put yourself in trouble and really be missing that scrap time yeah and it's going to be the number six player and the number five player in Sigburn and limits here to try and hold the line. J Money gonna pick up one. Big C gonna pick up one. But Creature ultimately gonna pick up two there. One left on the point has. He's gonna take care of him. And still P3 in favor of Minitoba Mallards. And what a start out of Minitoba thus far. And what a start out of the man has he. Currently 10 and 3, picking up kills left and right for his team. But J Money. Going to get two players on the side of Minitoba down. And that's going to be three down. Now it's the number five man and limits left all alone. He's going to start rotating to that towards that new hill. Manitoba find themselves set up early. And again, teams just getting broke with enough time to where we're at a tight game. So almost eerily similar as far as how our diamond matchup went as well. It was break heavy. Both teams really just keeping it even through this first set of hills it'll be interesting once again just to see who can maybe try to pull away here or is it one that comes down to the wires so manitoba they have the early rotation but it's denver in the hill early manitoba taking care of business yeah that's going to be four down for the side of denver denver all spawning in front of church here they're going to look to try and make something happen here but creature and has he say no they're going to start denying some of these players the entry into this P4 as J Money going to finally pick up one there. Stop the ble bleeding big C also getting involved in Hailstorm and the rest of Minitoba go down. And now off of spawn they go as J Money getting involved. Okay, J Money. This limits is going to finally shut him down. Sigburn, the captain of Minitoba, getting mixy here and trying to find the scrap time for the rest of his team. P5, we see two players here for the side of Denver, just one for Manitoba. Can Creature hold off for the squad with a pistol? It'll be yes to start, but a three for one in the feed is going to give Denver control of P5 early. Now closing a 10-point gap and trying to hold these players back from the Mallards. Making this plat and catwalk rotation is going to be critical. We know the grenades and tacks are going to be coming. It's not a matter of if, but when. And as these kills come through for the side of Manitoba, it's going to be Jay Money with two and the rest of the team picking up the rest of it so good time here for them and if you're manitoba you've got to think with 30 seconds left you maybe have time for one more hit but do you want to focus on a rotation 
and that number five player and limits trying to look get some time down there but he's gonna get taken out another three down for the side of minitoba minitoba need to try and regain here on this hill but no jacob says not today as he picks up two and there goes four down yet again for minitoba and denver surrender looking to try to start to pull away here on this new set of rotations a huge point swing here almost 50 60 points coming in from oh it was that p5 that they got a lot of good time on mallards never could quite get in it so now we see this lead growing out to over 50 points and uh p1 time going the way of denver which is what we saw early now manitoba they were able to break it last time around and as someone tries to cut through mid you surrender they have all of their lanes covered and they could potentially get a full 60 off this as the first 30 seconds go their way fairly cleanly kill feed still looking their way as well and with player three and big c in the back that's going to be a wipe and now they're trying to push and get these p2 spawns and what a huge play that was out of big c getting three there can he get a fourth as he is just absolutely moving with this mp40 in hand looking to just assert his dominance on the map and big c is coming and he is coming hard ladies and gentlemen and now p2 looks to be in favor of big c but no sigburn says no i'm gonna take you down and sigburn picks up two there in the feed j money looks to try and hold the line here on p2 has he gonna finally take him down and now p2 in favor of minitoba mallards cash what do you think the minitoba need to do here to get some of this time they need to hold off this hit here and so far it's been an even trade battle so you slow down the attack but if you let these reinforcements come and overwhelm you from any point they're gonna break into the hill and get good time and that's exactly what we see here now player five in limits is able to make a play plat and try to get this player killed as the teammates still have the close spawns to get things off. So Denver not getting clean time, but if they're not getting clean time or just a little bit here and there, that means you aren't getting time as well. And what they need is a clean 60. Now they're not going to find that on P2, but with the rotations going their way so far and these big gunfights going down in their favor to start, a full 60 answer would put them right back in this game. Yes, and, and Sigberg going to try to grab that scrap, but it's going to get taken down by J Money, and, and I would think that the rest of Denver Surrender looking to push out this side of P3 here as they're going to just keep taking down the players of Minitoba left and right. But Hazian Creature finally put a stop to that. Big C just maneuvering around the map. Big C for three. Okay. I'm going to have my eye on this man the rest of the series. He's just popping off three pieces left and right cash. Wow, has he been good. 29 and 16 on a five streak with over a minute of hill time. So uh, that's your guy. If someone's going to do it all tonight, it'll be big C. That'll definitely be a fascinating one to see how he plays the rest of the series. But you can no longer win on this hill. So if you're in Manitoba, you live to fight another hill and you've got to have a clean rotation if you want to stand a chance to come back you needed a full 60 to get back in this game uh, the opposite happens and now just needing 15 seconds to win less than that by the time that this p4 pops no room for error and look who it is big c trying to get some of these players out of position he finds one can he find another no it's going to be hellstorm to help him out there and now big c on the 1v1 situation jacob going to help him out and that's going to be three down for the side of minitoba now everyone on minitoba needs to push the hill because if they don't denver surrender is going to take map number one and they do 250 to 142 uh, again thus far you know i keep referencing the previous series but looking at that it was close as the first set of hills came through and then once the next set of rotations came in you can answer back if you take a hit so yeah you took a beating in the hard point but this is where they're going to try to look to bounce back i know sigburn plays well in snd situations like you said the ar is solid for this manitoba squad they have all the pieces to answer back and take this snd it's just a matter of can they put it all together it looks like Minitoba Mallards look to try and hit this A bomb site, but it's going to be Big C there, ready and waiting as Hailstorm, Hailstorm, excuse me, um, going to pick up the first kill there on Hazzy. Hazzy, maybe a little bit too far out of position, but Limits knows where Hailstorm is, and this is going to get mixy here on this A site as these players of Minitoba Mallards look to try and just try to regain, maybe find somebody pushed up a little bit too forward, but Denver playing very patient here on bow cage thus far 
So we are in some sort of little stalemate here. That number one player in limits is going to be the bond carrier. Hellstorm going to pick up another one on the sick burn. Now, limits trying to look to try to find someone here in tools. Not going to find no one just yet. And he's going to get taken out. And that's going to be three on the round. And Creature's going to finally put him down. Is Creature going to pick up two? One onto Big C as well. Now, Creature left in a 1v2 situation. Oh, Creature! Okay! With the beams onto J Money into a 1v1 we go. 13 seconds. Jacob just has to play his life. Creature spotted him. Creature spotted him. Creature, you have to go. You have to push if you want to. No. Creature's just going to wait. He's going to play his time. Creature! Okay. Oh, my gosh. Creature wow. with the round one ace. Come from behind. Win. Wow. I mean well, a 1v4 at that. Uh, an ace is typical, but the fact that that was a 1v4, um, there's your answer, Manitoba. Uh, of course, you don't want Creature in that situation, uh, ideally, but if that's what kickstarts the team and gets the fire going, that's one way to do it. I was about to say keep an eye on Hellstorm and give him the ace, but Creature shuts that down and didn't need to get the plant to win the offensive round, so uh, uh, starting on the, whether it be unfavorable or not, a good start, nonetheless, if you are the Mallards, to get a little bit of wind in your sail. You mitigate that first blood battle. We're even at 3-3, but as Hellstorm finds a pick, that's clearance on the A-bomb site. A-bomb looks to go down here as Jacob going to put the bomb down, but that's going to be Jay Money with the kill. And there goes the battle for round number two. And Denver Surrender going to come out, come out on top there in round number two as the players of Manitoba Mallards did go down. In, in, in pretty pretty quick fashion there boy what I, i'm still shell shocked excuse me from mm -hmm. that round number one creature putting on an absolute performance there wow but great great round out of denver there in round number two as we are going to be on board jacob currently zero and one thus far but i look to see him have a solid round three as big c trying to open some of these doors get creative See where these players are coming from. Has he looking to drop in? But no, he's not going to make it through the door. And that might have saved them as Limits going to pick up two. Limits, Creature picks up one. And into a 1v4 we go. In favor of the Minitoba Mallards as Bomb is being put down. And, can, and now, Jacob in the same position Creature was in round one. He finds himself. Can he pull out something here? No, Limits says not today. And Manitoba Mallard's going to go up 2-1, to one, take the round number three. Uh, that was a really solid adjustment from Manitoba. We had commented on how slow and how safe Denver played that defense, which you can. You know, they sat back in their spawn, and when you're on defense, the offensive team has to make the play. They have to get clearance for a bomb site to get it down. So Denver played that well. They tried to do the same thing there, and the adjustment that the Mallards made that worked out in their favor was they got really aggressive up at this A side, got three kills, and before we knew it, Jacob was in a 1v4 situation. So that's the adjustments we're looking for if this Mallards team wants to find success. They realize they like to play deep in their spawn, so let's apply the pressure. They did that, and it worked out in their favor. Now, how do they look to answer on defense? And it's Hellstorm once again opening up with the first blood. Like... Oh, Jacob just slid out on Creature there and picked that one up. And now into a 1v4, Sigburn, the captain of the Minnetoba Mallards, looking to try and get into the backs of this Denver Surrender team. But that number five player, his spidey senses are tingling. He notices somebody's a little bit out of place. Jay Money's going to go down. Sigburn going to pick up that one. And now these players of Denver do know where he's at. They're going to fly out, but Sigburn is going to take out Hailstorm. Sigburn, only 18 seconds. He has to defuse the bomb. He has to pick up these two kills if he wants to win the round. He is currently on a two streak. Possibly going to just hold on to this two streak and see what he can do next round. Going to try to get out with his life. Look to see if he can find one more player out of position. Not going to find no one there. And round, uh, round number four is going to go to the side of Denver Surrender. And what a textbook round out of Denver that was. Good on them just to play the clock and have the awareness that uh, we gave up a 1v4 already. Let's not do that again. The players playing a lot tighter around that bomb site and not allowing a big play to happen. So uh, good for them to also recognize they had the clearance to get the bomb down and 
give themselves that clock in their favor. Once again, it's up to the Mallards to try to answer back to go up around, and they find themselves on an offense where they have to do that. Hellstorm's been running the First Blood Department thus far on this map. Do the Mallards have an answer for him? And it's going to be Creature finding the pick there, and has he with another big gunfight here at mid-map? That's going to be traded out. And the trades go back and forth and into a 2v2 we go. Make it a 1v2 situation yet again. And Sigburn, the captain, looks to find himself in a situation that he's going to try to get the most out of. But no. No. Hail Storm, ladies and gentlemen. Putting on an absolute performance in the first five rounds of this S&D on Bull Cage. What a phenomenal start out of him thus far. A great start. And again, the most notable thing for me is how well and how comfortable Hellstorm is in that mid map gate position, just cutting those players off, trying to make a play through the mid map. That's his area and his playground where he's running through these players at, of course, Creature at seven and three, also having a performance for the Mallards. And that's why we find ourselves in a, a two to three situation here on this SD Denver. They could extend it to a two-round lead if they can get a good offensive win. You know they're going to try to fly up this map, but as player four and has he could be making a play, bomb down in their spawn. That's huge for Manitoba. Absolutely huge. As has he's going to pick that pick up that kill there on a big C, and, and, and J Money getting the trade there. Oh, has he picking up yet another one? Can he find the second player here? He knows he's close. No, Jacob going to finally take has he down. It's now J Money and Jacob left in a 2v2 situation against the captain and Sigburn and what seems to be his right hand man in limits. Still a lot of time here in this round number six on Bull Cage. They have to start mounting something together. It's J Money just looking to try to find some, some of these players out of position. But it seems like Minitoba Mallard's going to play, play it close to the vest here, Cash. Yeah, that's going to be the bomb picked up. So now they have, you know, an idea that, hey, the bomb's on the move. This A site is somewhat clear as we're going to see Sigburn rotate and try to clear out this B site. So with 15 seconds left, you've got to make a play, and it's going to be Limits who could blow this whole thing up with both players sitting on this site. This could be blown wide open. Limits going to get shot on the first. Bomb's going to be down, but Sigburn on the pinch could make a huge play here. Wallbang trying to come in. Sitting opposite corners, the bloodbath goes down, trades left and right, and it's going to be Denver that walk out on top of that. That off angle that was held by Denver's surrender was enough to get that round. What a hold that was after the bomb had been planted. Jacob knowing just to get himself in a corner, get in a position to be able to trade out those kills, and he did just that. As Denver going to take that round and now see themselves up 4-2, to two, and that's going to be a huge swing round there. Uh, cash is now the the momentum is on the side of Denver Sigburn and the rest of Minitoba Mallards don't care about momentum because they have the gun scale and they're going to look to try and plant this bomb as soon as possible Sigburn did get a tag on J Money over in this mud area J Money left alone creatures going to find him that's going to be one down for the side of Denver into three v4 we go now as he's trying to get up top grandma's not going to get it going to get taken out now into a 3v3, but look at where the bomb is. Bomb is going to be mid-map, and there's going to be a flank happening, and that ha that's going to happen fast as Jacob's going to pick up a kill there and, and just try to get out with his life. Creature picks up the bomb, looking to try to find some opening here. A Sigberg going to get a, a kill there on the Hellstorm, and the kills are just going back and forth here as we're now left in a 2v2 situation yet again, Cash. It has been a, a pinstripe kill feed here on this s and and it's just Mallard's trying to have an opening to make a play, but whenever you give yourself such limited clock time to work with, it's going to actually go the way of Denver in the sense that, okay, we cleared out the B site, there's 15 seconds left. Odds aren't in favor that they're making a wrap, but as they look to take this tunnel, they might get the timing to get this bomb down. We'll see if Denver look to peak this A or have a look right outside of this B site and Jacob... Knowing that this bomb's going to go down, it's going to get a chance for a couple free kills. And Jacob going to pick up a huge one, huge one onto Sig. And now Creature just trying to get out with his life. But he might be going too far. One of these players of Denver have to hop this. No. Creature. Creature finding one onto Jacob. 
but it's going to get taken down by Big C. And now that's going to be a, yet another round in favor of the Denver Surrender. You mentioned it being that swing round, and now Surrender find themselves up 5-2 with the potential to go up 2-0 in the series. So Mallards, though you have a couple on the board, you've got to find a way to answer back big here. You don't want to be down 0-2 going into a Gavitu control. If you're Denver, of course, you want to close this one out, and it's been led by Hillstorm and, or Hellstorm and Jacob on this one. Just ride it home. Take it home. Get this map one and get ma moved on to map number three. But Mallard's got to find a way to answer big on defense. They haven't had solid defensive holds. Here they're stacked up on this A side, a 3v3 setup, essentially. We'll see who draws the first blood. And that's going to be Sigburn drawing first blood there for his team. And, and boy, do they need it here in this round number eight. As they are going to be up in the live count with four members still up here. And now... Hellstorm. Just, oh, he's going to pass a couple of players in Limits. And Limits is going to find that kill there. Limits getting out with his life. Can he find the kill? No, he's not. As that number six and number eight player just going to back on away as the bomb. Now, closer to the Mallards than the Denver Surrender would like. As, as Denver going to look to try and make something happen. But Limits says, no, not today. Jacob goes down, left into a 1v4 situation. Is Jay Money, the captain of Denver Surrender. Just 25 seconds left. Gonna need a lot here. It's gonna pick up a kill on the Hazzy. Limits, it did spot him. Put a shot onto him, but didn't do much. It's now Jay Money, only 15 seconds. Gotta get the bomb. Gotta get the plant. It's not gonna get the kill. And Minitoba Mallards strike back there in round number eight. Going to take that round and go 3-5 and five on the map thus far. But boy, was that a tough round out of the Denver Surrender. That was the Mallards came out and Limits really opened things up with the two, oh, three on the round, of course, but two kills he was able to find early just to tip the scales in their favor. And with Bomb going down on that B side, it's just a lot to clear out and a lot of verticality to make sure you don't have someone looking over you before you get that bomb and get it planted. And it was Jay Money left with not much time left going into that one. So Hellstorm opens up once again with the first blood here. Jay Money to follow with the second. Bombs down outside A, and essentially what happened to Denver last round is happening to Manitoba here. And just like that, I blinked and the round was over. This map number two is done and dusted. And Denver Surrender going to take map number two. On Bow Cage. What a round that was out of Denver. Gonna have that starting map in control, Gavatu, as we are, will be on board Jacob to start. As it seems like Denver Surrender gonna just four hit this A site and they are moving fast. As now the players of Minitoba ready to meet them. As J Money gonna pick up that first blood and that's gonna be huge. It's two gonna go down for Minitoba and the stack is on. That's gonna be three down. And the players of Minitoba are coming off the spawn now, but the ticks are starting to come through for the side of Denver as Big C trying to get involved here. Going to find limits. Can he find another one? Has he left all alone in the back spawn? Big C's going to pick up two in the back spawn. That's going to be huge. Oh, finally gets taken down by the captain of the Minitoba Mallards in Sigburn. And Cash, what do you like out of the start there for the side of Denver? like what um, Big C was able to do, bought just enough time being in the spawn. You, you said he popped two, and that forced all of the heads of Manitoba to turn around because you just can't leave someone in your spawn. That granted the team enough time to get that A site, and now here we are with two minutes of time left. You've got the lives in your favor by six. This is Denver's map to work and try to get over to this B site. And look at Big C yet again. In, in uh, A thorn in the side of the Minitoba Mallards. Finally going to get taken down there by limits. But look at Jacobs tapping into his inner Big C and trying to get here uh, fast before the players of Minitoba do spot him. Going to put some shots down range. Going to find one into Creature. Big C going to find one into Sigburn before getting taken down by Hazzy. And that's going to be three down. Make it two down for the side of Minitoba. And now Minitoba coming off spawn. Jacob ready to meet the man. He's going to pick up one. And boy, 
Jacob looking damn near perfect in the back there as Big C now trying to pick up players left and right, but it's going to get finally taken down by limits. And, and it just seems like both teams are spawning in the same spawn as J Money and company just wipe out the side of Minitoba yet again in the spawn. And the feed is just lighting up red. And Denver surrender is not surrendering here on control. Galvatu as they look to just control this B point for just another two ticks. And the stack is on cash. I'm just so impressed with this Denver squad and their recognition to know. I mean, sometimes you've got to play control like TDM. Sometimes you just got to go on a kill frenzy. They recognize, hey, we're all shooting really hot right now. Yeah, we technically have control of this B site, but we don't really need to stack it. Let's get a 10 life advantage and then work to make a play. That's exactly what they did. So, yeah, they had players on the points there at the end, and that's what got them the round. But really just recognizing, let's go for a couple kills. Let's just try to slide this in our favor and really pin them back. They just have good recognition and adjustment on what the play and what the map is demanding of them. And they're playing that well. And of course, it's Hellstorm and Big C once again, sitting at 7-4 and four and 10-4. and four. And of course, J-Money at 7-2 and two as well. Electric performances. Interested to see if J-Money can get on some streaks. What a phenomenal attacking round that was out of Denver. But now Minitoba on the attack. And they have come to play as they're going to pick up two kills there in the feed limits gonna gonna go down there but he's gonna come right back up off a of spawn there as jacob gonna find one big c gonna get involved jacob can you find another one on the sig burn yes he is and that's gonna be four down in the feed for minitoba and now the players of minitoba coming off a of spawn in yet again another pinch is coming through out of denver and now big c on a four spree but it's gonna be jay money the captain of the denver surrender just holding these players back in spawn and into a spawn trap we go, and it looks to seem like Creature is going to try to be the one to break out. He's going to find a kill there, and two kills are going to go in favor of Minitoba. But back the other way, Denver says, you take two, I'm going to take two as well. And now Minitoba continuously just coming off spawn. But it's going to be Big C here on a six spree. Looking to try to find something. Limits is going to finally see an opening here onto the B site they go. It's so hard to get clearance because you do all of that work to get out of that spawn trap uh, down five lives and now you find yourselves seeing Denver come up right off spawn and they just have a quick jog to get over to this B site but it's working out for the Mallards thus far. They've committed their resources to it. They've got two ring and two on the site so they do stand a chance but as the glide comes in and two more kills from Hell Hellstorm come in uh, that all but does the round. And that is the round number two for Denver Surrender. And one round away from securing the 3-0 victory over the Minitoba Mallards. But the Mallards look to try and fight back here in this round number three on control on Gavadu. If it's any moment, Sigburn and the rest of the Minitoba Mallards need to start waking up. It is right here, right now. And look no further than the captain himself to try and continue his hot streak thus far in this series. Currently 10 and 8. But now the attack in favor of Denver Surrender looking to try and push this A site yet again. And Preacher's going to pick up the first blood. That's going to be huge for Minitoba. And Limit's getting involved picking up one. But it's Big C. Big C and J Money with the honeys. Ladies and gentlemen, picking up two, the captain of the Denver Surrender, currently 12 and 15, looking to try to find Creature, but Creature says no, no, you can't see me. Tapping into his inner John Cena before getting taken down there. Cash, it is a back and forth here on A. What'd you like so far out of this attack? What I liked is really what Manitoba was able to do on defense, and that's hold them off. The last time we saw this, they were able to get the A point with over two minutes of time to get over to B, and the lives have been kept even as well. So if you're the Mallards, you've made a good response, but what I like from the attack out of Denver is that they are still trying to true try in this way. They're, they're sending their resources here and trying to get in and get through, but this B site, not open for them, and they're just trying to get any kind of clearance on this a side this is the most adversity they've faced in this control thus far being down lives and just not in a favorable position to secure this point but as they get that clearance 
Look to see them try to work a big play to get over to B, but it's Sigbert in the back. You could blow this up entirely if you can get the timing. And A, all, all but done now, and the B point is in the sights of the Denver team. But Sigburn looking to try to hold some of these players off spawn. Not going to get to. It's going to be Big C to pick him up, and that's going to be three down for the side of Minitoba. And now the players of Minitoba coming off a of spawn, but who's ready to see, meet them and greet them? That's Hellstorm before he gets taken down by Sigburn. Limits trying to just hold the line as much as he can until his teammates come off a of spawn. Limits. Trying to find something here on this B site as already one tick of progression in favor of Denver surrender. Alice just can't let Denver go on a tear like they did to get a 10 life discrepancy. They've got to keep it close. And they have thus far and on defense on Gavitu, even if lives aren't in your favor, really just strategic kills can put you in a position to win. You just need one clean four down to be able to win the game. And even then, it's not even that. They only have two players present on the hill. So you clear out your spawn and get the wipe on the hill and you're sitting in a good position even if you don't have lives, but just the way Denver's been playing and how overwhelming it's been, now a 13-3 to life discrepancy, it's just been a bit too much. And too much to handle, and Minitoba Mallards go down here in this series three, in 3-0 fashion. The Denver surrender did not surrender today and overcame...